Today I'm going to discuss about the infections, mainly of the vagina, infections of the vagina. The first topic on the infection of the vagina is the trichomonas vaginitis. All the infections I'm going to discuss under the headings of what is the causative organism, what are the symptoms which they present to you, what are the signs, what is the investigation of choice, what is the gold standard investigation and what is the treatment. Now, in all the MCQs, you have a difference investigation, that is which is investigation of choice and which is the gold standard. Investigation of choice is that which is more feasible for us. Gold standard is that which gives you 100% the result. So there's a lot of difference between the investigation of choice and gold standard and even in your MCQs, you should be aware that whether they're asking you investigation of choice or whether they're asking you gold standard. So starting with trichomonas vaginitis, the causative organism of is trichomonas vaginae. List. So the causative organism is trichomonas vaginalis, which is a flagellated protozoa. So that you should be aware. What are the symptoms it causes? As a gynecologist, I'm more aware, I should be more concerned. And for your MCQ purpose also, what are the symptoms? By the characteristic of symptoms, you will be aware that which infection it is. And they might ask you by giving the symptoms, what is the treatment? So symptoms, it produces greenish colored discharge. Associated with pruritus. Plus, urinary symptoms like dysuria and dysparanunia also it causes. So now greenish colored discharge, the discharge, the characteristic is greenish colored discharge associated with pruritus that is itching in the genital region along with difficulty or painful micturation, dysparanunia is a painful coitus. So these are the symptoms which it produces with. Next, coming to the signs. Signs is what you observe. So when you do perspiculum examination, the vagina looks like strawberry vagina. And this was asked as an MCQ. So basically the strawberry vagina, the vagina because of the infection will be red colored and on that you will see red color punctate dots. So that appearance will look like a strawberry vagina. Okay. So this was as is an MCQ. Next coming to the investigation of choice. The investigation of choice is saline microscopy. So when you put on a slide, when you take the discharge in the saline, mount it on the saline and see through a microscope, you will find the flagellated protozoa moving forward, which is characteristic of trichomonas. And this is investigation because it is cheaper, it is very faster results you get. Coming to the gold standard, because saline microscope is not 100%, the gold standard is the culture. Now you should be aware, this again has been asked as an MCQ, you should be aware what is the culture media for trichomonas vaginality. So the culture media is Feenberg Whittington media. Or another media which is used is diamond media. And the treatment is metronidazole. So the every point which I have given here is as, as an MCQ and I have concise the entire topic into four to five lines which are most important for this topic. So you should be aware that the causative organism of trichomonas vaginitis is trichomonas vaginalis which is a flagellated organism. Symptoms, it produces greenish colored discharge associated with pruritus, dysuria and dysparanunia. Then you come to the signs, the important word is strawberry vagina or it's also described as an angry looking vagina with punctated red color dots and when you try to remove those red color, red color spots, you see the bleeding, okay. Next is investigation of choice is saline microscopy. Next gold standard is Feenberg's Whittington media or diamond media and the treatment is mainly metronidazole. Except in the first trimester, even in pregnancy, we use this treatment as same that is metronidazole. So coming to candidiasis, again we are going to discuss under the headings of causative organism, what are the symptoms, what are the signs, which is the investigation of choice or gold standard and what is the treatment. 
okay so coming to candidiasis the causative organism of candidiasis is candida al albicans so it is caused by candida albicans it is a fungus what are the symptoms they present to you with the characteristic symptoms which clinches the diagnosis the it is curdy wide discharge now again this is important because this has been asked as an mcq curdy wide discharge associated with severe itching severe pruritus they have severe pruritus so this is important it is they have curdy wide discharge associated with severe itching and coming to the signs here the vagina will be studded with white color plaques it will be studded with white color plaques and when you try to pluck those out again they'll be bleeding so vagina studded with white colored plaques coming to the investigation of choices investigation of choice for candidiasis is it is cultured on saboroids agar culture on saboroids agar and coming to the treatment the treatment for candidiasis is mainly azole it is a fungal so you have to give antifungal the oral drug which we give is fluconazole 150 mg stat but there are also tablets which we give vaginally and creams also available so your mcq purpose is the treatment is fluconazole 150 mg and even vaginal creams is clotrimazole which we use so basically in the mcq purpose which you should know is because it's a fungal infection you have to mainly give antifungal so in your mcqs if you get a fluconazole go for fluconazole if fluconazole is not there then the second choice which you can go for is the clotrimazole if both are not there and in the mcq there are some antibacterials antifungals so better you have to go for the antifungals mainly azole group in the antifungals it is mainly azole group there are few more points few more single liners about candidiasis so as we are all aware that all the microorganisms are resistant to acidic medium and they flourish only in alkaline medium but candidiasis is the only organisms which flourishes in the acidic medium it is the only organisms candidiasis is the only organism which flourishes in acidic medium so it is most common vaginitis in pregnancy it is the most common vaginitis in immunocompromised and hiv patients and it is the most common vaginitis in diabetics so the basic concept which you have to understand here is all the microorganisms are resistant to acidic medium except candida albicans which flourishes in the acidic medium so because pregnancy has high acidic medium so it is the most common vagina it is in pregnancy it is the most common vagina it is in immunocompromised and hiv and it is the most common vagina it is in diabetics all these are the single liners which you should be aware of so next topic which we are going to deal is bacterial vaginosis that is another vaginitis which is more common and where the mcqs are mainly asked so next topic which we are dealing is bacterial vaginosis so the causative organism the main here only there are multiple times students go wrong so it is not you all know that there are some commensals in the vagina that is lactobacilli usually lactobacilli are large in number compared to the harmful organisms which can be gardenella or any other microorganisms but whenever there is disturbance in this microflora leading to decrease in the lactobacilli and leading to the increase in gardenella there will be causation of bacterial vaginosis so if you have an mcq based on this if you have an mcq bacterial vaginosis is caused by gardenella option a it is caused by candida albicans option b 
it is caused by trichomonas vaginalis option c and if you have a fourth option it is caused by alteration in the microflora by gardenella vaginalis you will go opt for option d which is alteration in the microflora so it is not because of directly causing by some organism it is because of the alteration in the microflora where the normal bacilli are decreasing will lead to bacterial vaginosis this point is very important for you to understand so it is causative organism is because of the alteration in the microflora alteration in the microflora of vagina by gardenella vaginalis and this causes the bacterial vaginosis next coming to the symptoms so it causes grayish homogeneous mal odorous discharge so in previous two if we go to the candidiasis or if we go to the trichomoniasis what we have read there it is along with the discharge there was some itching or dyspareunia or dysuria but here it is only the discharge which is foul smelling grayish homogeneous mal odorous discharge that is important next there is no specific signs to it but the important mcq which is as multiple times on bacterial vaginosis is somehow it is very favorite for many examiners while well, amsel's criteria so this is one thing which you should be knowing even in your dreams so this is asked many times as mcq so mainly you have to know amsel's criteria so there are four out of which at least three are positive then you diagnose them as bacterial vaginosis so the first thing is ph more than 4.5 second point in this is dirty white mal odorous discharge the third point is when you add 10% koh to this discharge there will be foul smelling foul smelling because of release of amines and putrescine because of release of amines and putrescin and the fourth point in amsel's criteria is presence of clue cells so i'll tell you what are the clue cells so first of all in amsel's criteria mainly there are four things what ph more than 4.5 second is dirty white mal odorous discharge third is when you add 10% koh to that discharge there will be release of foul smell because of release of putrescin and amines so this is also important which was asked as an mcq and last is clue cells clue cells was asked as an image based question also so what are clue cells are these are nothing but vaginal epithelial cells to which this bacteria is attached attached to its the cell cell wall so this is how clue cells appear so there was an mcq where the clue cells was shown and they asked what is the treatment so you should be aware the clue cells will be like a vaginal epithelial cell to which the bacteria is attached perpend on the wall so that you should be aware so in this amsel's criteria is very important this was asked as an mcq and even the causative causation that that was asked as an mcq one more mcq which is asked in this area is nugent scoring so you should not you are it's not necessary for you not to know the entire scoring system but you should be aware that there's something called nugent scoring which is mainly for bacterial vaginosis this mainly they do a slide on on which they'll see how many are lactobacilli and how many are gardenella if gardenella is more and lactobacilli is less they grade it as grade it for bacterial vaginosis so basically you should be aware that there is some scoring system for bacterial vaginosis called as nugent scoring this was asked as an mcq even if you don't know a very much depth each score and diagnosis at least you should know that there is something called nugent scoring for bacterial vaginosis so coming to the treatment treatment is metronidazole so if you observe the treatment for 
even for the trichomoniasis is metronidazole as well as bacterial vaginosis is metronidazole. So the only vaginosis which didn't, didn't, don't have pruritus is bacterial vaginosis. Okay. Next thing is there is something called syndromic approach. So WHO has started this syndromic approach. So under this syndromic approach, instead of trying to see what is the diagnosis and then you have to do go for culture, you wait for report and then you call the patient back and then you give the treatment. But in India, the majority of the population is rural where many, many don't come back for the same reasons like once the treatment, once the investigation. So according to the syndromic approach and most of the infection are mixed infection. It's not like only bacterial vaginosis, it's not like only trichomonas. So most of the times it is mixed infection. So in this, all the midwives or the eyes or have been trained or the PHC centers, few doctors have been trained to identify the infection based on only syndromes. And if the, depending on what symptoms they tell, on that treatment is based that is syndromic approach so there is no at one step based on the symptoms they present to you the treatment is given so there is nothing like waiting for the culture reports to come or waiting for the investigation reports to come that way the load of the disease decreases and it specifies on counseling to prevent the STDs and it also specifies on contact tracing because if you go on treating the female partner and you leave the male partner there is chances of infection again getting because from male partner is not treated so here under the syndromic approach male partner is also traced treated so that the symptoms doesn't ref come back okay so we have dealt mainly about three vaginitis basically first is trichomonas vaginitis second is candidiasis third is bacterial vaginosis in trichomonas the mcq which you should mainly it is strawberry it's also called strawberry vagina and uh, you have to be aware that that it produces greenish colored discharge which is associated with itching malodorous smell pruritus dysuria and dyspareunia the vagina looks like strawberry treatment is metronidazole investigation of choice is saline microscopy culture basically fienberg's whittington or diamond media next we have dealt is candidiasis candidiasis caused by candida albicans it is having curdy white discharge associated with pruritus the next thing which you should aware is treatment is mainly azoles fluconazole or clotrimazole and the important mcqs here in that candidiasis is the most common vaginitis in pregnancy it is the most common vaginitis in immunocompromised it is the most common vaginitis in diabetics Next is bacterial vaginosis. Bacterial vaginosis is because of the alteration in the microflora by Gardenella and symptoms are grayish white or dirty white malodorous discharge which is foul smelling. There is no pruritus here and next you have to know Amsel's criteria. Amsel's criteria is pH more than 4.5, dirty white discharge. On applying 10% coherence there is fishy odor, fishy odor because of release of amines and putrescine and next is clue cells which are gardenella bacteria attached to the epithelial cells next you should be aware of nugent scoring and treatment is metronidazole this finishes your vaginitis